Gas station. Gas to show. That's a... not the entrance. <laughs> oh, oh, get up! Know. Get up! Can you get up? Someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. Mm. <laughs> Did you die? Yeah, that's a Pretty death. Sure, yeah. Hello again. Hopefully, y'all are doing uh, doing well out there. Mortal Kombat One. Um. So, a little bit of a backstory. The Mortal Kombat franchise has been around since 1992, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's when the first one came out. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. You sure it wasn't earlier? There we are. Mortal Kombat series. Yeah. 1992. Nice. <laughs> My brain did not fail me on that one. It's been around since I was but a wee munchkin. Since yeah. before I was born. I was four. <laughs> so... I was zero. <laughs> so Mortal Kombat has been around for a long, long time. Almost, yeah, over 30 years now. And <clears throat> it has gone through some iterations uh, that, honestly, people are okay with. Some people are not okay with. I would say for me, Mortal Kombat, the mainline Mortal Kombat games, of which there are 11 of them. And here's the interesting thing that happened Mortal Kombat's 1 through 4 followed this, like, okay, well, Mortal Kombat's 1 through 3 followed the same storyline. Then, Mortal Kombat 4 introduced, like, new characters and new gods of the realm and all that. Mm -hmm. And then, something weird happened. Mortal Kombat, which was traditionally like a 2D fighter, you know, straightforward, you know, on a fixed plane. You couldn't move, like, outside of the line. All of a sudden, when Deadly Alliance came out, you could step to the side. And you could move side, you could move laterally within the 3D world, and then and they went through some weird stuff because they did Deadly Alliance, and then they did Deception, which of those three game of the three games that they did like that, Deception is my favorite. Um, and then they did Armageddon, and then they sort of wrote themselves into a corner where it's like, shit, w what do we do? We literally ended the world. In Armageddon, what do we do? And then all of, the, all of a sudden, I guarantee you they were just like, I know. Soft, cre like, like soft reboot it. And then for Mortal Kombat 9, they basically rebooted it and have been telling a whole new story ever since that is sort of kind of pulls on the original games, but is doing its own new thing. It's weird. But <clears throat> I'll say this. The three most recent ones are probably three of the better one, three of the best ones that have ever come out. Mm -hmm. I, and and not only in terms of the the combat, you know, the fighting in the game, but also the story. The story completely blew me away, especially oh, especially w when they uh, went with what they pulled at the end of Mortal Kombat 11, <coughs> where. Basically, Liu Kang rebuilt the world. He basically killed, like, he, he killed the goddess of time, Kronika, mm -hmm. and restarted everything, and now we're back at Mortal Kombat 1 again, somehow, somewhat. I don't know. All I know is that I, like, this came up in our request, and I'm just too flabbergasted to understand, like, I need to see it to believe it, I guess. When you go through so many sequels after a while, if you're not anthological like Final Fantasy, eventually it becomes a decent idea to go back and build from the ground up again and modernize things. And... I guess, yeah. And I'm wondering what all is going to change because if, uh, if Ed Boon is still in charge of the game, which 
He's still the head of NetherRealm, and they're the ones who are developing the games now. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe this will be pretty good. So, anyway, let's uh, get into it. This is Mortal Kombat 1, official announcement trailer. Here we go. Oh, right. <laughs> I need the audio. It is time. It is time. Rafiki? Time to wake up. To a new reality. To a blank canvas that I have painted in with warmth and peace. My new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity or bloody strife. <clears throat> to dwell in Isn't that joyous prosperity. Mm -hmm. I like her outfit. Rivalry. Melina. What's the pink one saying? Melina. Oh. Face each other. Oh. Scorpion and Sub Zero. As sworn enemies. Oh, he's fun to play. Or united as brothers. What, they're brothers? No. But a oh. storm is brewing. And soon you will discover. Who's that guy? That's Lou. Oh. That the new fire, he basically new became like the new fire dragon god. One constant remains. Shang Tsung. There is always something worth fighting for. Ooh. Oh, hey. Ooh. Well, oh. he seems OP. <laughs> You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. Holy shit. Yeah. Lou is a literal god. Holy so, shit. Goodbye. Whoa! He's badass. Huh. Okay. I like his tattoos too. It's in our blood. Oh, oh, oh mm. man, that release date. That release date it's says tomorrow. something. tomorrow. Use a predatory Wait, marketing tactic to get a character that you should have access to, anyways. Uh, I guess. I have the comment section fucking yelling at me again because I don't believe in pre-order bullshit and bonuses. I think characters no, I think there's a lot of people that have who always been big parts of the roster should be included in the damn game. No, fair enough. But rather than cutting content out, selling it to you separately on top. Fair. Pacific times. Fair that enough. Means Seven a.m. our time. Yes. So. Okay, my whole deal with uh, with Mortal Kombat. Um. Uh, like everything we saw in this, I like. <clears throat> I like the fact that they're that they're rebuilding the world anew and they're doing something different. So does that mean there'll be new combinations to learn and stuff? More than likely. Ah. Uh. Uh, well, I think the characters are still going to play similarly, but I think their I think their character backstories are might might be a little bit different. It's too early to really know anything because this was not any gameplay at all. Like, this was all just the story trailer, so we still don't know what the actual gameplay is going to look like. Yeah. Or uh, what the graphics will actually be like or anything like that. Yeah, I'm looking here and, like, everything that we're seeing here is... I This might be story, or this might be, uh... I don't know. This might actually be like uh, part of the gameplay. I highly doubt it. This all looks. It looks very more story, rendering. but I don't know. Could that little part, that little clip of him like stabbing her in the eye? Um, if the gore actually, 
looks like this in the gameplay, then it's like pretty dang impressive. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh, I highly doubt that the gameplay will look quite on this level. This looks pretty rendered to me. Maybe. I mean, well, given the jump that we had from Mortal Kombat 9 to Mortal Kombat 10 and 11, especially 11, 11 with the uh, face tracking uh, animations that they had for the characters, it was next level. It was amazing what they went from, they went from looking like in 9 to 11 within like a, gosh. Did you ever play the Predator on 11? Yes. Yeah, he's a cool character. (laughs) So, uh, I know Jacob and uh, Keith are probably like, especially Keith is just like, just like licking his lips right now. He's like, mmm, yes. New I never should combat. play this. Huh? Are you, are you going to buy it? More than likely. I mean, I, I bought 11, it. and I have that. I've had it. For the PS5? Huh? For the PS5 or for the uh, PS4. PC? Uh, PS4. Oh. If somebody else buys it and you all are playing it, I can join in, but like, I have no interest in it otherwise. Yeah, it'll be a fun game to play. You'll you'll have to forgive me. It's not my fighting franchise. I'm a Tekken fan. I really don't care about Mortal Kombat, and I really don't care if that makes you mad. Sorry. He is. I'm allowed to like what I like, and you're allowed to like what you like. And Mm -hmm. I'm not shitting on you for liking Mortal Kombat. Like I understand why people enjoy it. It's just not my thing. That's fair. And and you and see, I'll still play it with friends. Like I'll sit and, on the couch and play whatever with friends if people invite me. Like, it, it's just you know I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy it, and play through it. Or anything. And this is yeah. the, uh, this is the whole thing with uh, Mortal. Well, also the release date. You know, moving on from that to like moving on to the release date. So the release date, basically, uh, there's another fighting game franchise. That's probably the only fighting game franchise that's mainstream that I care about a little bit less than Mortal Kombat, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give two shits about Street Fighter. Street Fighter 6 comes out June June 2nd. What? what? Look at that fucking box <coughs> art. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait, that's... That custom cover art. Okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say... <laughs> excuse yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> No, it, don't be fooled by your I, I saw the AO a little bit late, and I'm like, hang on a second. Yeah, don't believe anything that you see on the internet. I was like, okay, I'm interested in Street Fighter again. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little too excited. I don't think we can show that on the screen. No, I don't think. I'm not going to. Fuck no. this. But, yeah. yeah the, just so you know, if you want, you can order, uh, if you're over 18 at least, uh, box art that's custom for your Street Fighter 6 that's got naked characters on it. So. Yeah, maybe a naked maybe a naked Chun-Li, for instance. Mm-hmm. But, okay, but my, my point that I was making about the release date was that Street Fighter 6 has been announced for some time. It's been known about for, like, years now. At least two years, I think. Mm -hmm. And, like, everyone knew that it would be in, like, 2022 or 2023. And when they finally got a concrete release date, now here comes Mortal Kombat less than a month before this game releases. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, by the way, three months after your game comes out, here's our (laughs) game. Just, like, like backhands them. I, and, and you see, that's pretty ballsy because I'm, uh, I don't know, there's, let's see, Mortal Kombat 1, there we go. Other than like the obvious uh, cultural references like Hadouken and Shoryuken and stuff, Hadouken. I've never really understood how Street Fighter has competed with Mortal Kombat because they're both essentially like... They, they, they've always been pretty much well they, except for like you said the offshoot games but they've been like the side scroller fighting games yeah the obvious draw and win condition that Mortal Kombat brings to the table is like fatalities and the gore and shit well and now and the like, and now the story Street Fighter compete with that you know what I mean well Street Fighter they're trying to evolve you know they're doing like an open world kind of thing like exploring uh, and like a street combat kind of thing with with six and that's interesting i wonder how the gameplay is going to be in this because it's it it, i don't know there's tekken is competitive off of how different the mechanics are 
Well, yeah. It's, it's com it feels completely different than playing either of those games. Uh, but like when I play Mortal Kombat and I play Street Fighter, I'm like the only real difference I think is like the amount of verticality I can pull off in Street Fighter compared to Mortal Kombat. You know, like I can jump a lot more and a lot higher in Street Fighter. But... Yeah, which <laughs> I there's not really a fighting game series that I I hate. Uh, I would say the for me these like Mortal Kombat was one of my first ones when I was a kid. Up there with like Super Street Fighter Two. Oh my gosh. And then my friend brought over Turbo Edition, and that was just like lightning fast. I was just like, I was like, I can't, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Ah, cramp. Ah, ah, damn. <laughs> but <clears throat> also, uh, they this here gave me a good chuckle. A skin for Johnny Cage based on the likeness of Jean Claude Van Damme will Why? be available as a preview. Why? Well, we probably had to pay Van Damme for his likeness. That's why you have to pay for it. Mm. Van Damme is back in the same crap you've, you've seen, seen over, and over and over and, and over, over again. again. <laughs> Pablo Francisco, my man. Just like that—that that movie voice makes everything so epic. It's just like it's, it's just like one man, one desire. <laughs> it's just like you could be talking about the most innocuous things. It's just. Summer, Arnold Swartz. No! Actually, you can't the have little, this. The little mm -hmm. tortilla boy. Go and I, down. And actually, I got, I got one for you. Asher, this summer is the Manchin boy. <laughs> because when it comes to, when it comes to snackies, he must be Munchin. <laughs> Like, you can't this, eat it. it it's snack. too hot. Give me this spicy snack. You already have one. I want a and one snack. is too many. No, one is not enough. <laughs> he literally thinks he can stare me down. Go lay down. It's like no. a point of view cam because his ears were just in the bottom of the cam. <laughs> <laughs> they were. That's awesome. <laughs> He's still staring at me. Yeah, he provides so much comedy. I love it. Kind of derailed there. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. Intense uh, smoldering. Yes. Well, all right. Yeah, that, I'm waiting to see gameplay on this. Maybe they'll sell me with some gameplay, but it, I have a feeling it's going to look pretty damn similar to how it has for the past six or seven years. Maybe, but I am up to be surprised. I'm up for being surprised, uh, Nether Realm. The the big changes that they would have to make for me to be sold on this would piss off probably the entire fan base of it. So which would be I don't think that's gonna happen. Which would be mechanic changes. Like it'd have to play different than than it always has, pretty much. In what way in terms of the mechanics? Well if they do like another like three dimensional, like you get to step into the background and foreground and stuff and like the combos work differently, like you don't have to memorize like down up, down up, left, right, BA to do like your stuff, you know, they actually put it on a more like directional based thing. And basically if they make it Tekken. If they make it Tekken I'll be sold. But they're not gonna make it Tekken. <laughs> Fair enough. Dream world. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Like if they make it Tekken everybody'll be mad. <laughs> like but that's the yeah, only they that probably I'm would. be super sold on it. Yeah, well just because that's the style of fighting game that I enjoy the most. So. Well, alright. Anyway everybody. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This was the Mortal Kombat 1 announcement trailer. If y'all enjoyed and y'all want to see uh, what's coming next with Mortal Kombat 1, stay tuned. And if you uh, have your predictions or anything that you think uh, is in the Mortal Kombat 1 trailer that we missed, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. We're always happy to hear what y'all have to say. As long as it's civil and not, you know, and not the fact it's just be like, kind, it's just please. like, I can't, it's just like, all of a sudden you're just like, I can't believe you didn't know that this. You're so stupid. Why you retard, even have retard, that guy retard, on the right retard, side retard. of the couch? He's so negative. He doesn't like anything. It's like, yes, I do. I fucking like Tekken. I said that. Tekken's yeah, it, it, I'm gonna have to censor I what like I was saying there stuff. a little bit. Yeah, because I think I don't think YouTube would like it if me yelling retard four times in a five yeah. times in a row i'm not negative i'm i'm, I'm just I have strong opinions about what i like and if it happens to not line up with yours then that doesn't make me negative mm -mm. all right anyway moving on we'll see you on the next one everybody peace